Hey everybody, Dr. Perry Bard here, and I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule for hanging out with us here tonight in a very, very, very special Zoom meeting, webinar, you want to call it whatever you want, you can call it for some of you, I hope you're sitting down for this one, an awakening and more, and yes, this will be different than what you've hopefully have experienced before, seen before, learned before. And uh, we're going to kick it off and we're going to go right into it. There's so many things that I can tell you about the person who put this all together. And when I say put it all together, in other words, this was Dr. Kaplan's vision. His vision was to be able to elevate chiropractors and to elevate chiropractic on a level that was just simply unmatched. Meaning, his mission was to position, keyword, position chiropractors at the front of the line in the healthcare arena when it comes to non-surgical spinal disc care. And that's what you're gonna learn here tonight. What we're talking about is the chiropractor who in essence envisioned this great playing field for so many disc doctors now. And the thing that we love is that there are so many disc centers of America doctors that are on this tonight. Thank you family for hanging with us. We'll make it worth your while. And if you're not part of our family, well, guess what? We're gonna make it worth your while too, in terms of content, knowledge, power, and information that will make you think, will make you learn, and make you apply. I'm so honored to be able to talk about Dr. Eric Kaplan, and I'm going to do it in just the briefest way, even though I could probably spend the whole Zoom meeting talking about him. You're talking about the co-chairman of the International Medical Advisory Board on Non-Surgical Spinal Decompression. You're also talking about the co-chairman of the International Disc Education Association. You're also talking about the president of the largest non-surgical branded group of physicians throughout the world known as Disc Centers of America. He is the former president of the weight loss company Nutrisystem. Yeah, that one, the big one. Yeah, that's right. He is a six time, count it off, six time number one best-selling author. He is the creator of the National Spinal Decompression Certification University-based CEU program. And he is also the creator of something that you're gonna learn tonight known as the Cairo event. So we're gonna kick this off by doing two things. The first thing we're gonna do is number one, I would like for all the doctors to stand up and give him an amazing, no, you don't have to do that tonight. It's a Zoom meeting. <laughs> We are going to do a wave. No, what I want you to do instead is this. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take out a pen. Now, I don't have slides for this stuff, but we're in the moment, and I wanted to give you two things. Number one, now here's a funny thing. The last time, actually, the, not the last time, but the time before, I gave out my cell number because doctors had questions. It took me a week and a half to return all those calls. So we're not gonna do that again. <laughs> Instead, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna do two things. Number one, I will give you my email address. Why? Because some of you may have some questions. So write it down right now. New patient now. N-E-W, P-A-T-I-E-N-T-N-O-W. New patient now at AOL.com. That's number one. The second thing I want you to write down is the number three. Now, if you're doing it in reverse, it would look like that, the number three. Now, the reason you're writing down the number three is as a very, very special gift on behalf of Dr. Kaplan, he wanted to do something very unique for you. And as many of you know, the Cairo event scheduled for March 26 has been sold out for two weeks. Actually, after we did the last training, it just it sold out, wait list, crazy. So they were able to reconfigure some seats. They freed up three seats, three seats. So write that number down because 
You may have an opportunity to grab one of those. It is such a treat, such an honor, such a privilege. I'm so excited. I got goosebumps. Get ready to dive into the deep end of the pool tonight because you're going to learn about the science of non-surgical disc care. Welcome, welcome my blood brother, Dr. Eric Kaplan. Perry, you know, I'm going to start off so soft tonight. But I'm going to tell you, this is a profession in turmoil. This is a profession that is under attack. And it's a profession that is letting, letting themselves down. And, and let me give you an example. I'm, I'm not, listen, I will not lie to you. I'll not exaggerate to you. You know, listen, I have a very good friend of mine, Eli Goldstein. Eli, baby, you look great. But the point is, you know, when I went to school, I'm not going to tell you I graduated magna cum laude. I will tell you I graduated loud. You know, yeah, I did it. I did it. But one of the things I never wanted to be was I didn't want to be average. Because to me, average is the best of the worst and worst of the best. In the last month, I've met with the chairman of the boards of some of the chiropractic universities. I've spoken to some of the greatest risk management people in the country. Uh, I'm doing ongoing ongoing research you know and and you know what, what what i understand is what richard branson said is let me explain to you something there's the three eyes in in the world there are the innovators there are the imitators and there are the idiots and the idiots were for all of us so when you're out there listen there are three types of people that are here tonight those that want to make money those that want to make more money and those that want to make more money and be happy. And I'm telling you the secret, because see, chiropractors always look for the secret. What's the secret? What's, where's the special ad? How do I get more new patients? And I'm telling you, the secret is, doctors, you have to build a brand. When I was the president of the Nutri system, nobody ever called up and said, how's the food? They bought into the brand. And the brand is built by by marketing. The brand is built by advertising. The brand is built by promotion. It's not built by one ad. You run one time and you think now you're the guy. And I'm going to tell you something. The world is changing in our profession. You might not realize it. No different than our country was attacked by a pandemic. Well, let me tell you something. There's a pandemic of healthcare, And guess what? You're not in it. Let me give you an example. Do you know, doctors, that right now, there are over a thousand, a thousand, not a hundred, a thousand companies, chiropractic franchise clinics that you're going to see everything from the joint health source, one after another. Somebody sent me a text tonight. I don't even know if we can see it. And he sends me this. Well, oh, I love this one. Here's another new one. Can everybody see this? $20 chiropractic. Are you kidding me? $20 chiropractic, so you have the joint at $29. You have $20 chiropractic, and you want to know why chiropractors are not surviving? You want to know why insurance companies don't? You, do you know what a cannibal is? A cannibal is one that eats their own. Chiropractors eat their own. You do an IME, oh, there's nothing wrong with them. Are you kidding me? Medical doctors never turn on medical doctors. Our profession is so insecure, is so insensitive that they're turning on you. And I'm going to tell you, PI, as you know it, I'm with Sal LaRusso, former chairman of the board of Florida, head of risk management, is the number one go-to guy for NCMIC. He's telling you, PI, as you know it, is going away. Will you be prepared? Will you be ready? I'm looking at an article uh, from Shailen Boyles Reviewed, okay? And, and here's what it says by Dr. Louise Chang, MD. $86 billion was spent in 2008, in 2008, $86 billion was spent on back pain. The number two surgery performed in our country is for back pain. $86 billion, and you're worried why you're not making money? Because you're not doing your job. $86 billion. Back pain now is a trillion dollar industry outside of COVID. It's one of the main reasons that people go to the emergency room. And people don't even understand it. And then I got to look at this. So where is this? Hold on. Where is this? I'm going to find it in a second. 
I have so much stuff to show you tonight. It's so exciting. You know, you have people. I go online today, right? Just to excite you guys, to show you about the idiots. Remember, they're the innovators. They're the imitators, the idiots. So I type in FDA approved non-surgical spinal decompression, right? Here's my computer. It's right here. And anybody that wants to challenge this, you know what? You can challenge me. Type in FDA approved non-surgical spinal decompression. It's right there, whether you can read it or not. I don't care. But anyway, now you go to it. Is spinal decom people who ask, it's right here. Is spinal decompression FDA approved? And you touch it. Spinal decompression therapy attraction for decompression is FDA approved and been clinically improved with 86% success rate for pain associated with herniated or bulging disc, even after foul surgery. And this is from FCCCairo.com. Not true. Not true. And these people are ruining it for you because when they come down on one chiropractor, one apple spoils the bunch. And then go on. Now you want to go, I can name chiropractor after chiropractor. Jason, even in Lake Worth, and I'm going to give it to you, in Lake Worth, Florida. Oh, my God. In our backyard, FDA approved, FDA cleared for spinal stenosis. I mean, one after another. Vax, they, they, I mean, let me give you the facts, doctors. Spinal decompression is not FDA approved. Epidurals are not FDA approved. The difference is epidurals are, can be utilized off source, meaning FDA approved. So when you have a patient who comes into you and they say, well, I'm thinking about getting an epidural. Do you have the content to give them? So anybody that sends me an email, I will send you the, the thing from the FDA that shows you that epidurals are not FDA approved. But yet, they're coming to you as well, you know, I don't know if I want to try chiropractic. I might try an epidural. You might try an epidural. Are you kidding me? Do you know the side effects of an epidural? I mean, I have, if, if you go to my son's website, I recommend any of the guests tonight, go to my Jason's website, wellingtondiscenter.com. There's a whole component on MDs. Well, we have it. I have from one of the leading orthopedic surgeons in the United States, Tim Kremchek. 100,000 square feet. And he's saying, I had back surgery. I had, and I regret that I had back surgery. Well, you see, we have to understand something. The MDs are not the enemy. They just don't know what the hell you do. And failed back surgery syndrome is of epidemic proportions. More people are getting back operations. It's the second leading cause of surgery in the United States. And what are you doing about it? And don't tell me you're sitting in on, oh, I went to a Zoom meeting with Dr. Kaplan. I wanted to see what he had to say. Or, oh, I'm not getting the PI case that I used to do. And I go online and I'm saying, FDA approved spinal decompression. I mean, and, and, and it bothers me. That, and, and there's clinic after clinic that, that are saying it. And, and it stuns me because it's FDA clear, doctors. Drugs are approved. Equipment is cleared. So if I was in a seminar right now and I do it the National Certification Program, which we had at Trump last year. And Eli, we, we agreed with Trump. We're going to do it again there next year. Uh, and, and why do I mention Eli? Eli was my classmate. And Eli was a, a very important person in my class. And Eli helped a lot of people in a lot of things. Matter of fact, I got my first medical doctor's bag from Eli Goldstein. And I thought, oh, now I'm a doctor. But you know what? I wasn't a doctor then. I was a chiropractor. Now. The D of the doctor, what does it stand for? Who knows? Raise your hand, Brigitte. Brigitte, 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 Brigitte. You know what the D stands for? Dr. Perry Barr taught me this. The D stands for detective. If you're not a detective, you're not going to get a good diagnosis. And the R, in my opinion, stands for results. If you're a good detective, you will get good results. If you can do a good diagnosis, you will get a good result. And if you can't diagnose disc injuries, you're out of the game. $86 billion, and this is Dr. Chang. And then you have to know, where does the problem begin? Remember this, the angle starts to damage itself from the inside before the outside. By the time you have an annual tear, it's too late. It's too late. Damage occurs long before the thing, and whose study is that? That's the Bagdock and Burton study. I don't make this stuff up. So Bagdock and Burton, and then where? The inner layers of the annulus go first. By the time you have an annular tear, by the time this baby pops through,
By the time you can see that disc bulging out against the nerve, guess what? The damage is done. But here's what I said. I said to a chiropractor from Las Vegas today, why are you diagnosing the worst cases that can come into your office? Mark Lasagio, my hero, wearing his football jersey. Looks like a Charger jersey. What's the worst case that would come into your office? Now, Mark's a very innovative guy because Mark has helped create with Perry and I. We're doing now knee decompression. Do you know we have doctors that are doing case after case of knee decompression? And Mark, have you had just, you, you give your thumbs up. Have you had $10,000 days just doing knees? $10,000 a day just doing knees. Not surgical? Mark, I'm going back to you. Have you had a 15,000 day doing knees? 10, 12, 12, just doing knees. Now imagine if he had a 10,000 day doing knees and then you had spinal decompression, now you're at $15,000, $18,000. Doctors, if you wanna make money, you have to be the best. Let me explain to you what the best is. You can be average, average is the best of the worst and the worst of the best. So you have to understand what are you doing that we understand that this is 80% water. Now the weakest structure, is inflection. Whose study is that? That's the McGill study. We know bending forward and flexion is the weakest area of the body. And 83, was at this number, doctors, 83% of the injuries happen with inflection. 83%. Okay. And that's why when you have a difference in tables, and I love the difference in tables, you have some tables that bring them this way. And then you have other tables that take them that way. You got to stand something. If you're sitting at a table, which is a stationary table, and then you got to lift the table up to pull, I want to ask a question. If a table has a fixed tower, you can leave the spine in this position. And then through a fixed tower, which is the Shealy Bergmeier study, not the Shealy Caladia Westerman study, what's the difference? The Shealy Caladia Westerman study showed that a year later, they're still doing well. A year later, still doing well. But the Shealy Bergmeier study, and then we don't even want to get into the Chen study, which was done in China, which shows only a 19% success rate with track traction. Matthews took it up to a 40 to 50% with no excellent results. Because if you put someone on a table and they get the angle, you have to do this to the person. Guess what? Look what you're doing to the L4, L3, L2. You're not isolating the segment. So what you're paying for is technology. Is an X-ray the same as a CAT scan? The answer is no. And you have to understand the dynamics of the spine and understand the table and then ask for your 510K. The 510K means it's a predicate device and the predicate device was now approved by the FDA. And in it, at the end of your 510K, it talks about what the usages are. You know, I mean, are all cars the same? No. Are all trucks the same? No. But let me tell you one thing I'm proud of stuff. You will not find one decompression table, not one, on the internet for sale from one of my clients. How cool is that? When I see tables for sale on eBay, you know what it means? They didn't know what the hell they were doing, Mark. They did not know, Jason. They did not know, Eli. They did not know what they were doing. And you know what? Will a table make your practice? No. And hold on. And if you're out there looking to buy a table, and I'm not giving you fact or fiction, Go to the website, decompressiontruths.com and see what lawsuits have been out there. Write this down, decompression truth. Now, I'm not going to tell you if it's real or not, but I'm going to tell you, one of my clients sent it to me today, and I'm going to tell you, woo, woo. It tells you about a child that was unfortunately damaged by a table. It, it tells you about lawsuits. It tells you about different names of different companies. So you go to decompressiontruths.com and, and I have it somewhere here. On, oh, here it is. Look. Decompression truths. And I'm going to tell you, this is amazing stuff because my job, doctors, my job is to give you the best of the best. I'm not sitting here resting on my laurels. My difference here, the difference between an old pro and an old pro is this. An old pro, it, you know, an old pro reads his clippings. An old pro creates new clippings every week. I'm out there every week reading stuff. And I'm very blessed that I have a son and daughter. I have a daughter in love. And, and they're out there every week. And I'm going to tell you, I say to Jason sometimes, Jason, come to a boot camp. He said, Dad, every time we have dinner, that's a boot camp. Because I want to know what's going on in the industry. Perry and I are very, very unique because 
most consultants, they get into being consultants when they're out of the business. I'm in the business. I ask them every week about their numbers. Eli, what you're creating is for your daughter. You don't think I know that? Let me tell you about Eli Goldstein. If you need money, go to Eli Goldstein. It's Eli 1-800, Eli Goldstein. He has more money than God. Matter of fact, if God, matter of fact, right now Ukraine is calling Eli Goldstein because they need money for more tanks. Eli has more money than God himself. Eli, I so admire you. But the point is, we as chiropractors, why are we suffering? Why? Because you have $20 chiropractic. Imagine that you have a thousand chiropractors. More and more are moving into the joint. More and more are moving into the health source. So you know what? I do a thing. Okay, and my clients will, will, will tell you, and it's in Florida, and we'll talk about it more later, and it's called the event. Why do I hold it at Trump? It costs me a lot of money to hold it at Trump. Perry and I decided, you know what? We want people to see the vision because we want chiropractors, Bridget, like you. Did I say it right? Is it Brigitte or Bridget? <laughs> I don't know, baby. But you know, I love both names. So, and Brigitte. hold on, but I'll give you a plug. Brigitte developed mineralgia and mildralgia is a great topical anti-inflammatory. Can we put Brigitte on for a second, Perry? Can we hear Brigitte? And if you want to send it to anybody, she'll send you a free sample of, of mineralgia, which is actually made from the salts of the Dead Sea. Brigitte and, and her husband, and Brigitte never did decompression before. Brigitte, with your fingers, how many decompression tables do you have now? Four. 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 And tell them how to get a hold of Mineralzer. You can send, Perry can send them a link, but it's, uh, they can, they can send me an email. I can, I can share it in the, um, in the little chat, if there is a chat. And I can send them a sample. And you'll send them a sample, right? Because we love, and, and that's what I, and, and let me tell you, and not only is Brigitte, is that right or is it Bridget? <laughs> Help me out here. Brigitte, Dr. K, come on. I know what it is. Oh. Not only is Brigitte a star who does, who has over six figure decompression practice, who never did, never was 100% P, Brigitte, true or not true? You were 100% PI before you signed with us. True. How's, how's decompression been to your practice? A blessing. How, how much money do you make now with decompression alone? Forget PI. Look at the embarrassed you now. A lot of money? You can say a lot of money. Nice amount. More than 50000 a month? Yes. Of yes. <laughs> I'll just never do decompression. And I can look at, I can push her, but I'm scared of her. But what? I'm going to win it. Regine, more than 60000 a month? Yes. <laughs> That's why she can afford to send you mineralgia for free. <laughs> Don't you understand? But hold on. She's also very dedicated. She's yeah. also paid her dues. She also knows what knows. But what I loved about Brigitte is, you know, we, we talked about all the time. She's, she now is a, you know, she was 100% PI, never had a table. And now she has four tables. My son, 36 years old, has four tables. Lesagio, Lesagio, you never had a table before me, right? How many tables do you have now? Give me your fingers. What's that, six or four? Four. four. Unbelievable, right? And the guy doesn't even speak English. No, I'm only <laughs> kidding, he does. <laughs> so he has four decompression tables. How many, knee on, how many knee machines do you have? Give me fingers. Two knee machines. My doctors make money. Why do I tell you this? Because let me tell you something. I'm all in for the brand, baby. I'm all in. This is my uniform. I put this on to say to you doctors, you know what? If you don't know the studies, if you don't know the Bag, Duck, and Berkman study, if you don't know the Apfel study, if you don't know the Ironman study, if you don't know the Shilly Bergmeier study, I mean, I can go on and on. I'll, I'll keep going. Spinal surgery is the second most surgery done in the United States. And I'm telling you, it's time, doctors, that you step up and take your position. Because I'm going to tell you, you have doctors still marketing that you're FDA approved. And I'm going to tell you, they will come after you. Because the imitators out there will, will try to ruin it for you. And, and what I want to know is, you know, even, even for those that do PI, Eli, I know you do PI, Bridget, the Joel study says, the Joel study, imagine this says, after the accident, usually it takes up to three months for them to feel the full extent of the pain. Three months. But if you don't know the Joel study, how can you educate your attorneys? 
My job is to tell you so that you can educate the attorney. Because see, when you become a DISC specialist, to me, DC stands for DISC chiropractor. When you can show them that you're a specialist, not just an average Joe, not just somebody out there saying, oh, Mr. PI attorney, can you send me some clients? I've been a little slow this month. Chiropractors beg the PI attorneys for money, but that's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. And we know the weakest structure is inflection, and that's the McGill study. So you have to understand that, that we have all these studies that keep going on. Do you know in U.S. consumers, 70% of all medications produced in the world with the United States consumed, 90% of oxycodone is consumed in America. And why oxycodone? Why? Because they're in pain. And, and, and why are they in pain? One of the leading causes for hospitalizations, ER visits, outside of COVID, because we've dealt with unique time, is, is for back pain. And I'm going to tell you something. And if you don't think that failed back surgery syndrome is a real thing, you better understand that back pain is a trillion dollar industry. So if there was a trillion dollar industry, heck, I mean, and, and you have people like the joint taking over, why? Why? When, when you have study after study, I mean, study after study, I give you the American Journal of Pain Management, which is Dr. Sheely. We can go to practical pain management study, anesthesiology news. Now, who did that? Odell and Boudreaux. I'll tell you who it is. One after another study. We can go to the Journal of Neurological Research about facet syndrome, Ghost, Nagazuski, and Nagazuski. Okay, one of the largest, over 700 people. And then you got the McClure study. The McClure study had like 478 pre-surgical cases, pre-surgical with a 91% success rate. You see, and people come in and they're skeptical. Oh, why should I choose this? If you don't have the right thing, I tell people, go to my son's website, wellingtonthiscenter.com, and go to the MD reviews component and see the re reviews. I have an orthopedic surgeon saying, the knife is not, not the way to go. I have a physiatrist saying, this is it. But then I have, I have Timothy Kremchek. And then in it, I have Hall of Famer Barry Larkin, who had neck surgery, had neck surgery. And then he said, you need more surgery, but you might never be able to play baseball again. And he didn't have the neck surgery, a spinal decompression. And we have it on video. You can watch it. Go to my son's website, wellingtonthiscenter.com. Watch it. He had, he had decompression, and he played four more years pain-free. How do I know that? Well, my son was one of the primary treating physicians for him. And that's how we got Timothy Kremchek on board to, to do this. I mean, you have to understand the histology. So when a patient comes in and they're skeptical doctors, they're not skeptical of, of that. They're skeptical of the brand of chiropractic. I mean, that's it. Listen, when you talk about the brand, let's talk about the brand of McDonald's. McDonald's makes the, is the largest brand, but it doesn't make the best hamburger. What's your brand? See, because chiropractors are out there begging for care. You have $20 college chiropractic. You have health source. You have snap and crack. If you don't develop the right brand and you don't stand behind the brand, then you know what? You're either integrated or you're isolated. And let watch this. So I look up, and you can look this up. I look up the, I, I look up, you know, what it costs to open up one of these things. The joint, quarter of a million dollars. And watch this, Jason. In equipment, they give you six to $8,000. Well, what kind of equipment can you have in six to $8,000? A stationary table? Now, I'm speaking to Dr. LaRusso, risk management guy. Listen to this. And a person goes, and here's what you're going to learn tonight. Everybody who does PI or anything, I'm going to give you something never done in the history of these meetings. The chiropractor asked for an MRI. The insurance company denied the MRI. Now here's what I'm, think about what I'm gonna tell you. Chiropractor asked for it. Insurance company denied it. Now supposedly when they deny it, they say you can request a peer review to review their outcome. The doctor did not do that. So now what they're doing is the person eventually went to a neurologist. The neurologist said they had MS, but they're not suing the neurologist. Why? They want to sue the chiropractor because they, the chiropractor, they said, didn't say the MRI was that important. Imagine that. 
And why? And, and I'm learning that one of the, they love to sue the chiropractors. You know why? Because you have the largest malpractice insurance. Are you kidding me? You have the largest malpractice insurance. So guess what? You might as well put a target on your head. You might as well just shoot me right now and say, whoa, baby. You want to do PI? You want to get in the game? I'm going to tell you, be the best. Don't be good. Don't be good at it. I will tell you this, and any of my doctors can do this. I say, if you want to be great, you got to be a better doctor. DC stands for disc chiropractor. I work on making my doctors better. I want them to be stronger. I want them to be smarter. I want them to be more educated because I'm going to tell you when they meet with a patient, you know, I was just talking to my son yesterday and he says that some people come in there skeptical and that's why you have to build a brand and not skeptical of, of the doctor. Don't take it personally. Doctors they are skeptical of the brand of chiropractic. Listen, how many names do we have for chiropractic? Oh, I'm a wellness center. Oh, I'm a functional medicine center. <laughs> Should I go on? I mean, you know, you know, you know, years ago, Eli, they used to be Eli chiropractic, right? Now it's like prime med. It's like this center. I do functional. Med. They won't even say, I, oh, what do you do? I'm a car rover. When people <laughs> say, what do you do? I'm a car rover. And, and I tell people right away all the time at Trump, I'm a disc specialist. Perry and I and my son had the ability to meet with the president of the United States. And, and, and amazing in that meeting, okay, it, it was not a five minute meeting. It was a 50 minute meeting and, and, and we talked about surgeries and, and actually for the president, that was a concern that, you know, he's seeing all these people have spinal surgery, knee surgery, hip replacements, shoulder. And he says, what's this all about, Dr. Kaplan? And, and Perry and I and, and my son, we had the pro presence of not only speaking to the president, we had the, the ability to speak to the president's wife. Okay. You know, who opened up the, the, American Heroes Act, which actually put chiropractic into the veterans affairs. Do you know that prior to President Trump, and it's not a political thing, but prior to President Trump, only 25 medical doctors had access into the veterans. Now you have 3,400 chiropractors. To me, that's very powerful. 3,400 chiropractors. And you know what? It's based upon research. Perry and I had the ability to speak with Norman Shealy. Norman Shealy is the godfather. You know, I've been, listen, I've been blessed. I've been embraced by Norman Shealy, you know, who also developed, by the way, the TENS unit. So when we talk at the boot camp and at the event, we're going to teach you about electroanalgesia. We're going to teach you about how you can do a, a non-invasive nerve block. We're going to teach you about research that's done at the Cleveland Clinic, Columbia University, Loma Linda University. I mean, this goes on and on. I mean, the, the bottom line is my job is not to make you a better salesman. Okay, to make you a better doctor. I don't do a four day report of findings. I wanna know what's going on in the spine. I wanna know what the Bergmeier study says. And when you tell someone 20 visits, why 20 visits? Because that's Shealy Bergmeier. And if you wanna to go to Shealy Caladium Wasserman, that's longer. If you wanna talk about MRIs, that's Ironman. And if you wanna talk about, if you wanna talk about CAT scans, you can talk about Apfel. I mean, everything is done. You wanna talk about video fluoroscopy? I'm gonna talk about Ramos and Martin. And, and listen, who was the one who did Ramos and Martin study? That was Dr. Was Alan Dyer. Dr. Dyer was one of the first people that, that, that did this. And let me tell you something. And I had the pleasure of working with Dr. Dyer, being trained by Dr. Dyer, okay? And, and let me tell you something. And then Dyer started working with Shealy because when decompression started, it was done in a supine position. I apologize, in a prone position. And Shealy turned to the supine. Why? Because the Nackerson study showed that the least amount of disc pressure is done when the patient is supine with the knees bent. Now, you still have people doing, doing decompression on Chattanooga tables. And if you wanna know the effectiveness of Chattanooga table, go to the Cheng study. I'll give you the studies. You do the homework. You want to the tables? Go to, go to decompressiontruths.com. You wanna to go to the Chang study? Go to the Chang study. My job is to stay on top of the game. Dr. Bard Star is to stay on top of the game. Okay, I mean, so what, what do we do? We put new patients in the office. We teach the three C's at, at, at boot camp and the event. What are three C's? The capture, the conversion, and the close. How do you capture new patients? How do you convert new patients? How do you close new patients? That's all it is. Imagine Eli, consultants, you and I have been there with Dominic LaForce. Come on, but what is it? 
what, what really, what's the game? How do you get new patients? How do you get them to follow your schedule and how do you get them to pay? But you know what? The old chiropractic model doctors, I'm going to tell you it's not working because I'm going to tell you, you're at war amongst yourself. The cannibals eat their own. Well, guess what? When you're dealing with the event and you're dealing with health source, imagine a thousand, but hold on. Did I tell you this, Eli? Do you know Eli? Shake your head if you didn't know this. Walmart is now going to be opening chiropractic centers. Did you know that? $25 a visit. So why the hell, Eli, would I pay you 100 bucks a visit when I, can, when I can send them to Walmart? And that's where the insurance company is going to want to send them. Go to Walmart. Go to the joint. Right? Yet, when I, like I said, when I speak with Dr. Russo, they're suing our profession, which could topple us because chiropractors are not doing it. So imagine a chiropractor being sued for asking for an MRI, but because he didn't do the peer review. So I'm going to put together a letter for all my clients, my clients that are out there, that, that when, if you get a denial for an MRI, I'm going to say to the insurance company, you accept the liability. We definitely want to review. But if this patient does not get the MRI, because what they're going to say is, what they said is by the chiropractor not fighting, listen to this, for the chiropractor not fighting for the MRI, they're saying the patient didn't realize their condition was that serious. Are you kidding me? And at the National Certification Program in in November next year at Trump, which we just uh, worked out a deal, uh, Dr. Roos will be teaching two hours of risk management. Everybody, every state, you need risk management. Well, guess what? You're at risk because this is one of the two leading causes that they're suing chiropractors for. So I'm saying, where are you doctors? Where are you aligned? Do you know that, that 22 million people in our country, one out of five people even suffer from neuropathy and what are some of the symptoms of neuropathy? Pain down the leg. Now, when I went to school, that was called sciatica. But imagine now pain down the leg could be associated with neuropathy. And it's a very simple thing. You can do a balance test and find that if the neuropathy. So what I'm saying to you is, doctors, that you entrepreneurs, decompression and neuropathy can go hand in hand. Imagine they can go hand in hand. Perry, you have any slides for me? <laughs> Give me something, baby. I want more. If they're not working, so, I can keep going. So, no, no, it's good. It's great, actually. So, so um, tonight is a special surprise. If you probably haven't figured it out right now, this is what we call spinal decompression Zoom meeting on behalf of Dr. Eric Kaplan, unplugged, unedited, uncensored, unscripted. Now. Here's the interesting thing. If I'm sitting there right now, there's certain things that jump right out, right here, right now. And that is the following. Number one, that the power, the power is in the research. So the more knowledgeable you are about the specific study, the Shealy study, the Sheely Bergmeier study, the Sheely Caladia study. You see how that name just keeps popping up? Do you, do you see how the McClure study and more? You start to say, wait a minute, hold on, time out. So when I have to validate, I have to prove to the patient, and often what Dr. Kaplan will say is, there's often two closes that take place. Number one, between you, doctor, and the patient. And then number two, the more important close, which is the significant other, the husband, the wife, and the person that's going to question their mate when they walk through the doors, honey, why did you just spend $5,000? $6,000, $7,000. And when they read the package that you put in their hand and they see the brand, they see your celebrity, they see your acknowledgement, they see your awards, they see the research, they see the detail, and then they start to say, wait a minute, now I see why this doctor is light years ahead of everybody else that you've seen before because whether you like it or whether you don't like it you better learn to love it because you're being judged and you're being judged from the moment 
that the patient finds out about you. And you're being judged really in terms of how well qualified, how knowledgeable you are. What type of technology do you own? What How do you communicate? What brand are you? So there's power, if you remember, there's power in numbers and there's power in masses. So it's not a secret. Uh, over 190 non-surgical spinal decompression Dissenters of America clinics, clinics, not including doctors, clinics throughout the world. Now, what is it and what is it not? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. And we're not here to sell you in any way. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. If you want to be part of our universe, you're going to have to sell us on why you're the caliber of doctor that can be invited to be part of our universe. Because if you go down the list right here on the Zoom meeting, you're going to see doctors that are part of our universe that are kicking total, can I say this four letters? I'll spell it for you. <laughs> T-U-S-H. If you're not paying attention, that spells tush. Here's another four letters. B-U-T-T. -T. Kicking total butt. They're more prepared than you. They're more knowledgeable than you. They are better branded than you, and that is power. Now, when I went to school, I will tell you this. The greatest teachers that I ever had were the teachers that do, did really two things. Number one, <laughs> they took the complicated and they made it simpler. Now, if you think discs aren't complicated, do you know the difference between a bulge and a herniation? Do you know the difference between a prolapse and a protrusion? Do you know the difference in terms of what a sequestered disc is? So you want to own that because when that MRI comes back, you want to be able to communicate to the patient in perfect terms how to do it. The second thing is the best teachers I ever had challenged me. In other words, they challenged me to get better in the most positive, the most uplifting, the most enriching, the most enlightening way. So if you remember when we started today, tonight, I told you to write down two things. Do you remember? Well, I gave you my email address, but now we're going to replace the email address. <laughs> and what we're going to do is this. I'm going to give you the website. It is www new patient oh i'm sorry i'm giving you my email again <laughs> i want to give you the website you ready www the t h e cairo c h i r o event e v e n t this from dot com this information tonight is time sensitive the date is march 26 now when we started tonight, if you remember, I held up a hand. I said three. I want you to remember three. The number three. Why? Because Dr. Kaplan, before this started, was able to reconfigure the, the room and was able to get three more seats freed up. And you know that in terms of the simple fact that this was sold out for two weeks already. So there are three seats that are open, www.thechiroevent.com. If you are even somewhat curious about how to build a better mousetrap, how to learn more about the science, the research, the clinical data, the content, what tables to get, how to position them correctly, how to attract that audience, how to position yourself as a specialist, we're going to blow you away on March 26th with example after example after example after example and more. And I got a lot more to tell you about, but you know what? I want, I want more science. I want more research. I want more clinical information. And there's nobody better on the planet than you know who. Dr. K, will you share the love, my brother? The, the biggest study on that is the nano study as well as Sheely did a study with the cervical spine. So there are studies out there, you know, and, and then that we know that the damage occurs long before pain and that's the Bach, Dr. Burton and, and, and Dolan study. But, you know, knowing the study is a very important part because what we try to teach people 
in, in the capture, the converge, and the close, the three C's I call it, is people will just do on your confidence. If, if you don't have the confidence when you do it, and you don't have the medical research, and you don't know how to present it, and you don't know how to package it, guess what? Yes, they're gonna come in skeptical. They will come in skeptical because they don't know who you are. Are you a chiropractor? Are you a chiropractor doing decompression? You know, w- w- what do you do? And, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, when I look at FDA approved, a lot of times you have MDs doing this. More and more medical doctors, doctors are starting to do decompression because you know what? That's where the money is and, and they know it. And, and we need to dominate that because we can do something with kinesio pathology. And that's when we start working on the Cox work. James Cox was the first one that understood that this was the most serious treatment that you could have. Yet doctors rarely diagnose this and it's one of the two top causes for malpractice cases. You know, listen, dehydration of this, 87%, the disc is 87% water. If you can reach hydrate the disc through imbibition, which is shown in the McClure study, okay, and the Box Cell and Martin study, the Box Cell and Martin study shows that the disc has, the, and look, I'm not reading anything here. The Box Cell and Martin study shows that the disc has the ability to hear. Do you know last year there were 100,000 hospitalizations just for the anti inflammatory, non steroidal, anti inflammatory drugs? 100,000 hospitalizations. What are you doing about it? So people are taking drugs, they're doing epidurals. And then I read something like this. I don't know if you people can see this, but I'm going to read it in a second. So here's an ad, okay? And if you can see it, three, $29 for three spinal decompression treatments, $29. So when you're out there and you want to know $3,000, $4,000, $29. And guess what he's also saying? It's FDA approved. The deal. Non drug spinal decompression said FDA approved 30 minute treatments, $29. Now, the only way you compete with that is to be the best. And I teach this at, at it. What is the best? To have the best brand, to have the best equipment, to have the best systems, and utilize the best technology. You can't be the best if you're the worst. You can't be the best if you're lazy. You can't be the best if you're not paying your dues. You can't be the best. The best means that you have to be up you know, earlier than the other person. I'll give you an example. When the Nagelsen did the study, how did he do it? He had sensors. He measured in millimeters of mercury. Ramos got it to negative disc pressure. This positive, the Chen study, the Chen study, which was done, I hate to tell it, on a table that begins with the letter C, showed that many times it increased it. Harvard and Yale studies, okay, I apologize. Harvard and Yale Clinic showed that inversion tables, inversion tables cause more disc pressure. So here's the spine. Now we know from early on in history that this is a normal area that a person stands in. That basically that one shot for health is that the best chiropractic tables, the best decompression tables are the ones that can give you the best. Now watch this. Now if I do, if I have an L5, let's say I have a little bit of a bulge down here. Right doctors have a little bit of bulge down here. But see, it's just standing upright. Now watch what happens. If I turn this patient upside down in inversion, I am putting a greater amount of weight on that segment. And by causing a greater amount of weight on that segment, I'm creating positive disc pressure. And watch that disc start to proliferate. That disc is saying, whoa, what the hell is happening to me? And you can see it right there, sitting on the nerve. So inversion not only increases the patient's blood pressure, it will increase the, the, the positive disc pressure on the disc, because they'll come to you, watch this. Oh, I'm thinking about getting an epidural, or I'm thinking about doing inversion, or I'm thinking about buying an inversion table. Well, you have to know this, you have to know, hold on, then you better go online and you better look at, type in Mayo and inversion. I'm thinking about having surgery. Go online and look at failed back surgery syndrome. Tiger Woods has had five back surgeries. And, and then I love people that say, oh, do we give refunds? Did Tiger Woods get a refund from the four surgeons prior? A refund is a sign of weakness. We don't give refunds. Imagine Tiger Woods had five back surgeries. Imagine going to the first four. I, well, it didn't work. I need a refund. But chiropractor said, oh, I better give a refund. Maybe I'll get a bad Google review. Guess what? We don't give refunds. You got to stay on offense, not be on defense. You have to understand, if you look at the, the Apple study, the Nagelson study, the Ironman study, the Ironman study is going to show you MRIs. We have the National Certification, Rob Burke, and he's showing you. 
I have doctors that, that, that find the importance of the MRI. And if you look at the American Academy of, of Neurological Sciences, I mean, they're gonna show you that, that and, and we give this out, and anyone who emails me, I'll, I'll send it to them, and it shows you the percentage of people that are asymptomatic that have bulging or herniated discs. If you guys don't know that, here's what I'm saying to you. I guarantee you that 20% of the patients coming into office now have bulging or herniated discs. And how do you learn more? Are you gonna learn more in, 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 in this meeting? Definitely not, but the event. So Perry talked about the event. Let me tell you about the event. I will tell you, it'll be some of the best three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours you will ever spend, ever, 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 ever. And I'll tell you why. If you're not doing decompression, here's what I'm asking you. How many take the first question I ask, how many tables do you have? If you have one, guess what? You're playing at it, you're not mastering it. I mean, look at Brigitte, okay? I want to make you smile again, love. And in, in, in a short period of time, in a year, year and a half, or whatever, four tables. Mark Lasagio, four tables. Jason Kaplan, four tables. Rich Lord, 12 tables. And Rich never even did decompression. But what does it mean? It means that Brigitte understands how to educate the patient. Mark understands how to educate the patient. We have to, because I'll tell you, they can come in and they can be skeptical, but can you overcome their skepticism? And that comes by building the strength of the brand. Give me an example. When, when you take you know, certain tables, when you talk about Norman Shealy, Harvard University, he wrote the protocols. I didn't write the protocols. I did not write the protocols. He wrote the protocols. So when you want to look at the, the Shealy Wasserman study, you want to talk about the Shealy Caladia study, you want to talk about the Shealy Bergmeier study, over 500 studies, 500 studies, number one in the world on, on spinal decompression. I mean, I can go on, cervical spine, the nano study. I mean, we can go on and on. I mean, you can, you can look at study after study, but you see, to be able to present the studies and show the patients and have that, that is the key to success. So I'm telling you, we have, we have three seats left to the event. If you're a guest, all my clients that are out there, if you're a guest, call me. I'll give you my number, 561-379-5606. You want to come to the event, okay? You want to come if, if there's availability. Because let me tell you what the event is. It's not a seminar. When we did our thing at Trump last year, we had 350 people there. The event is only 12 doctors. That's it. We sit around a conference room in, in Jupiter and we roll up our sleeves and we talk about how to be better doctors. And if you're out there and this interests you, you know, as I have clients out there like Steven Jensen, I mean, Steven, you even have two tables now, don't you, you little son of a gun? Steve Jensen from Massachusetts, how many tables do you have? Three, you son of a gun. Steve Jensen, three tables. And I'm telling you, he didn't even know the alphabet when he first came to me. <laughs> he had trouble after he got to like P. Now he has three tables. I'm so proud of you. I didn't even know that. I mean, so when I see people that, that are doing that, you know, and, and, and I know. So what I'm saying to you, doctors, are you playing at decompression? Or are you mastering decompression? If you're playing at it, listen, get your ass down to Florida. Come to the event, you know. Perry, can I put Brigitte on for one second again? Sure. She just Brigitte, so to, tell them why they need to come to the Brigitte, what, tell them why they need to come to the event. They're going to learn a lot of how to make good money <laughs> and also become a better doctor and really like take the profession to a different. I mean, I don't know how many people here are your clients and how many are regular. Either do I. What is that? Either, either do I. No, this is really the best thing that I could have ever done for my career. This this honestly was the best thing that I could have ever done to join the Centers of America. The power of the research that we provide. In fact, I have all these things right here as I'm preparing to prepare a whole new folder. You didn't know I was going to do that, right? But I just happened to be in this room. Um, it's very, it's super powerful. People are looking at, at what we're giving, what we're providing. Uh, nobody really does that. Nobody, nobody gives them any research. Nobody explains uh, references. Just really, the, it, you can't. You you don't understand what it is until you actually experience it and you actually play in it and you actually are part of something bigger. When I say I'm part of the Centers of America, even though I have my own center here and an office and name, 
uh, it's it's much better to be part of something bigger than yourself because you know it's national and it it, it it really is extremely powerful extremely powerful it gives you a lot of credit thank you so much mark mark lasagio wrestler extraordinaire okay now mark tell them before you came to me sometimes months were tough paying bills and going on now you you, you got a new office you're expanding Tell the person sitting out there saying, should I come to the event, not come to the event? Tell them how Distance America has changed your life. Give us a second, Mark. You're not on yet. We'll get you. I'll tell you when we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, really changed my life. Um, talking about closing, Dr. Kaplan had me close for the Distance of America on the phone before I even came down. I did everything backwards uh, because Obama was killing me with Obamacare. People couldn't even afford a twenty dollar coping. I was half of my practice. I only seen like eight patient visits a day, compared to like seeing forty, maybe forty five patients a day, and um, just changed my life. Like Bridget said, this makes you a better doctor. Matter of fact, it gives you so much confidence. I fought with two two doctors today. Um, I had to do um, like you're talking about MRIs, and I had to fight with the two uh, doctors say for peer reviews, and I'm telling them. They're saying, well, would your patient be willing to go for an epidural or a surgery? I said, no. I said, I said, you need to be educated. I said, we're doing our treatment. Well, what's different? You know, what would you do different? I said, I'm doing non-surgical spinal decompression. I said, chiropractic care doesn't work by itself for herniated bulging disc. You need a decompression. And so they turned around and they authorized it. So, and she, but the only thing she said after if it doesn't work or something like that, would you be willing to? Have your patient go for epidural or surgery? I just like, well, we'll see. <laughs> but um, everything is great. And like you said, Bridges has to make a lot of money. But number one, my philosophy was the patient gets better and we get results. That's the number one. I get results in my office. Like yesterday, I had a $24,000 day. And one was one of those was um, knee patient for $6,200. So, like, yes, I will do fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a day for knees, and then the other thing I'm talking about, I'm already trying to go, go get a fifth table. It's just amazing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the changes going on. I see the paradigm shift. People are sick and tired of the medical realm, and this is great for us. Great for us. But again, I go over the research with them. That's it. I tell them, I said, when you come up for your report of findings. This is going to be an educational experience, not just come in and say, I'm going to do this to you. We're going to get started. And you know what? I had one patient. Um, it was yesterday. I didn't get finished doing my report. Finally, she goes, okay, she's telling her husband, go get, go get uh, some coffee and I'm going to get, I'm going to get started now. I said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had to stop her. I said, I'm the doctor, not you. And she just came aboard just like that. She uh, they paid with 6,200 bucks for decompression. Cervical, four herniated discs in her neck, four. And she'd been years with different doctors. Epidural, she had this one, that one, three chiropractors. No one helped her. And as soon as the first visit, she goes, I feel like this brick, bricks were taken off my spine and my shoulders. And I feel so much better after one visit. Well, you know, I mean, that, one of the studies, Mark, that goes into that is the Pergolese study. And the Pergolese study is from John Hopkins University. Uh, you know, so you have studies from John Hopkins, you have studies from Harvard, you have the Merzotti Mer Mer study from Stanford. I mean, we try to bring the best of research that we teach our doctors how to present it to the patient. Because let me tell you something. Guess what? When they come to your office, are they cautious? Yes, because everybody's selling. And I try to teach my doctors, don't sell, become a better doctor. Build on the brand. The brand is the key. Because then when they go home, let me trust me. They will go on the internet. So here's what I'm telling everybody, all my guests today, they're not clients. If you want to learn more about it, you want to see the videos, you want to watch testimonials, go to my son's website, wellingtondiscenter.com. Now, why do I say that? Because him and my daughter in love, Dr. Stephanie Lyons, okay, they're in a small town of Wellington, Florida. He's 36 years old. He now has four decompression tables. But you know what? He practices with passion. And that's what it is, doctors. If we can have passion and we can have purpose and we can have perseverance, then we can succeed. But if you're listening to the negatives that are brought to you every day by the insurance companies, we're not paying this, we're not paying that, 
rejection. I call it crap. Crap is criticism, rejection, apathy, and pessimism. And we deal with crap every day in our practices. Well, you know what? Be the best. Have the best brand. Have the best equipment. Have the best systems. Have the best technology. So anybody that wants to come to the event, I will promise you this, Perry, never done before. If you come to the event, yes, there's a charge. Why? One simple reason. I only bring in like six guests at a time. This is not a major event. I mix doctors with existing clients so they can talk to each other. But we rope our sleeves and we get into marketing. But here's what I'm telling you. If you don't think it was a great day, I'll return your money. I'll buy your lunch. You have a great lunch at Trump. If you can look me in the eyes and say, you know what? I didn't learn anything today. I'll give you your money back. I don't need your money. Let me tell you what I need. I need for our profession to be better. I, I need for these kids that are graduating school with two hundred and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt to survive. I, I, I don't want everybody working for the joint or health source or snap and crack. I'm going to tell you, doctors, this is a pivotal time in our profession. This is a time where you have to stand up and not only help yourself, but help your peers. So Brigitte and Mark, you know, thank you, because I'm going to tell you something. Our profession is in trouble. Yeah. I, I have people sending me $20 chiropractic. I have to deal with the joint. And let me tell you, you know, when Jason first opened his practice, your dad does a joint in me. And I'll tell you what, son, you're the anti-joint. And when I did a, a thing for one of the universities, and I'm not going to say what, and I mentioned the joint, because I said, oh, don't mention the joint. They're one of our biggest sponsors. Why? Because the students graduate with so much debt, no bank's going to give them the money. So here's what I'm saying. You want to come to the event? Let me know. You, hey, you Dr. Wanna... Kaplan, can I say something about the joint? Please. <laughs> So the joint, it can be your best source of referral because the joint only adjusts people. And when a patient comes in with sciatica or herniated disc, the joint, they don't know what to do with the patient. So I was, and I am still very anti-joint because I think it degrades the profession. But if you would go to your local joint and say, hey, I will treat your patients with herniated discs because they just don't know what to do with it. They'll refer you to those patients and you'll become their best friend. So you can look at the glass and the same one. You can look at the glass half full or half empty because I really don't like it. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promote anything that costs me less money that costs me more money to get my nails done than to get an adjustment. And those people are doctors. Isn't so that, you know what, Bridget, that's amazing. It costs you more money to get your nails and show me your nails and see your nails <laughs> and to get then they get an adjustment. What, what I'm saying, doctors, is, is in conclusion, you have to make, you have to decide, I want everybody to do this little exercise. Look yourself in the mirror tonight. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Am I the best doctor of them all? And when you say, look in the mirror, ask yourself, am I doing the best I can do? Am I the best that I can be? Ask yourself, could I do more disc cases? Because I'm going to tell you that the most serious case, and if you're not, that would be like a dentist not having a drill. If you're not doing decompression, that would, oh, cavities? Oh, I'm sorry, we don't do cavities here. We just do cleanings. Oh, root canals? We don't do root canals. We only do fillings. Oh, extractions? We don't extract. Let me tell you something. Look at the scope of your license. You know, dealing with, you know, Perry and I had the blessing of not only dealing with the 45th president of the United States, with a bit of, of dealing with, with Norman Shealy in the same month, two icons, two people doing the best that they can. But you know, Norman Shealy, as a neurosurgeon who taught at Harvard Medical School, said, I knew early on that spinal surgery wouldn't work. And guess what? For my guess, he's only endorsed one group of disc doctors, and that's Disc Centers America. So if you want to know who he's endorsed, he endorsed this Centers of America. You know, let me tell you something. I believe Dr. Bard and I have revolutionized the world of decompression. And we haven't done it through sales. Any of my doctors, and you can call any one of them, we make them better doctors. Even Tom Collins has to be a better doctor than he was. Yeah, I see you, David. Even Tom Collins has to be a better doctor now. The fact that Stephen Jensen has three tables, 
I know that I'm doing good. And, and, and that's the way it is. So here's what I'm saying to you. Everybody has to look in the mirror tonight and say, am I doing the best I can? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Am I the best chiropractor of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Am I the best disc doctor of them all? And if you can't say yes to that, because you know what about the mirror? The mirror never lies. You know, that's our innate intelligence. And if you want to take your game to a next level, it's called the Cairo event. If you're a client, it's called boot camp. What's the difference? Boot camp's for clients only. We talk about the capture, the conversion, the close. But I'll tell you what, any of our clients that doesn't have those videos, the capture, the conversion, the close, email Dr. Barr and he'll send them to you because we've done videos on this and we're doing videos on the things. Mark Lesage just told you he had a $21,000 day. And, and Mark, and I'm not saying this to be rude, Mark had trouble paying his rent when he first started and he ended up moving to a bigger office and, and, and a better thing. I don't know what that means, Perry. So <laughs> take over. I, I've said it. I love you. I love everybody for being here tonight because let me tell you what you should do. The bottom line is we have to save our profession. Our profession's in trouble. Students are coming out of school with two hundred and two hundred $250,000 in debt. You want to go to work for the joint for the rest of your life? Look how lucky you are. You have your own office. You have the ability to not only change your life, but to change the life of others. And yes, there's a commitment. But do you know what? Watch this. To get a, a joint, it's $250,000. $250,000. And then you got to pay them a percentage every month. They're taking 10% of everything you make. I don't ask for anything. You make more, I'm happier. I don't. You make more, great. Because you know what? We have to take control of our profession. Because I'm telling you, the ICA is not doing it. I don't even know if they still exist. The ACA is not doing it. I don't even know if they still exist because I want to know what, what you're doing. What we need to do is, listen, we either integrate it or isolate it. We need to take our profession and bring it to a higher level. We need to take our profession and show them that when it comes to backs and when it comes to discs, that we're number one. Why? Norman Shealy, orthopedic surgeon, he's talking to me about sacral shear. Sacral shear is nothing more than a sacral subluxation. Norman Shealy is talking to me about kinesio pathology. Listen, I'll give James Cox a lot of credit. James Cox knew what he's doing. But the question is, do you? Do you know how to treat disc injuries? Are you with this specialist? Well, I'll tell you, if you live in my world, if you live in my wife, hey, I see Dr. Buddha. She'll tell you, I'm not always the, hi, Dr. Buddha. I'm not always the nicest guy, am I? You better perform. And she closed the case, and I'm very proud of you. you I see everybody's numbers, everybody's statistics. If you're naughty or nice, Dr. Buddha, I know. But you know yeah, what? Yeah, see, I'm, he's I'm, not always nice to me. <laughs> I'm not. But you know what? But hold on. Are you closing cases? Yes or yes? Yes. Are you make, So you're making more money? Yes or yes? I'm starting to, yes. There you go. And she's a brand new client. Why? Because I won't let my doctors not succeed. Let me tell you something. You're either success or failure. My father told me about business. You're either in the red or you're in the black. Not one of my doctors has a table on eBay. And I take pride in that. And now when you take, watch this. If you added one, Perry talks about the power of one, one decompression case at $3,500. One knee case a month, not a week, is $3,500. One neuropathy case, and I'm giving you the loan over thirty five hundred. Let's say four, 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 and four. That's twelve thousand dollars a month. That's one hundred forty four thousand dollars a year. Show me how an insurance company will pay you another hundred forty, and that's one a month. Now do one a week. You want to work in the big leagues? You want to know why I have tables with twelve tables? You want to know Marco Sage with four is going to get five? One of my son has four. Steve Jensen has three. I go on and on. Kurt Simons who's on. I go on and on to, to my doctors that that are here today. That, that are taking it. You know, Mascaro, look at you, Daniel, way to go, learning, make your father proud. I mean, I'm going to tell you, Gunner, Gunner, I mean, Jenna McCarthy, I mean, what I'm telling you is Karen Schumacher. Karen was great because Karen started, he had to walk through the kitchen to get to her, to get to a treatment room. Now she's in an office. I think she's on her second table, maybe a third. I'm so proud of you. And I'll tell you, but hold on, let me tell you about Karen. I would get emails on every MRI, everything she did. She wanted to be good. She wanted to be a good doctor. So you know what? 
if you want to sit back and watch why the world is passing you by, have a nice trip. If you want to come to the Cairo event, www.thecairoevent.com, and you want to see what the leaders do, if, if you want to know what, what they do, if you want to know, like guys, like I look at like Ron Brodkin, who's probably one of the smartest guys in neurology in the United States of, of, of America. If you want to know how, how to do it, I look at the Coopers. I mean, this is your time. So if you haven't joined the event, Perry, if they want to come to the event, what number do they call? Well, what they can do is this. Very simple. You have a choice. We don't have slides for this. So, so, uh, so life is running out. You can go to www.thecairoevent.com to try to grab one of those three remaining seats. I kind of have a strange feeling they already may be gone. Uh, you know, this is everything in your life is about timing. If you're an athlete, it's about timing. If you're in business, it's about timing. In relationships, it's about timing. And oh, by the way, if you haven't figured it out, this is a business meeting. In other words, tonight, that was just the taste of the business meeting. Oh, and by the way, so when I was holding this up, I'll, to answer your questions, yes, I'm not home in Florida. We're in hot Atlanta, Buckhead, at our uh, at a, at a, our northern world here. Yeah, and to answer your question, so the answer is yes. I know it looks a little different. That's number one. But the Cairo event takes place in South Florida, in Jupiter, Florida. And if you're fortunate enough to get a seat, you'll get emailed to convert. You'll get emailed a confirmation packet with your seat information, and it'll have day, day, time, logistics, hotel information, travel information, and more. Oh, and by the way, I think this is so cool. One of the great, you know, I love, my phone's lighting up here, and I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass him. But I wanted to show you. Let me see. Can you see that? Let me see that. I had a twenty-four thousand dollar day yesterday. All decompression. Twenty-four k. This is a business meeting. We can talk numbers, right? Can we talk money before we go tonight? And oh, by the way, the other, the other one that was so cool. Let me see. I'm gonna cover it. I'm sorry. I don't want you to see who this is. But but um, can you see that one? Can you see that one? I generated 80K last month with a DCOA Google campaign alone just by that. I can just do this all night for you. You want numbers, I'll give you numbers. But the fact is this, when you got your title, which is the heavyweight championship of the world, trust me when I tell you that this was about so much more. And if you want to resign yourself to throw it on a golf shirt, and asking your people to not even be patients in your office, to be practice members, ooh, to join my tribe, ooh. Talk about selling yourself short. Talk about giving away your leverage, your power, your control, your knowledge, your education, and your profit potential. Nah, -uh. not for these doctors, not for the doctors that get the big idea. Not for the doctors that understand this has always been an above, down, inside, out business, but it starts with better education, better knowledge, better facts, better materials. And I love when Dr. Rosenberg starts pulling out the glossies. So when we talk, when Dr. Kaplan talks about all these research studies, they are packaged a certain way. They look a certain way. They're presented a certain way. They're communicated a certain way. And one of the biggest takeaways, the thing that I get is so funny, my phone's lighting up, and tonight it says, this is like, it was so funny. funny. One guy said, let me see if I can find it. It's like, this, this is like drink, this is like drinking from a, a, a fire hydrant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one right after the other. The best teachers come prepared. And if you could show me somebody who's more prepared in the universe, of non-surgical spinal decompression, this care, saving patients from opioids, Vicodin, Percocet, Tramadol, Oxycodone, Oxycontin, all bad stuff, epidural injections, which are very, very risky, one little CSF link, one little wet tap. If you're not sure what a wet tap is, Google it. A wet tap is when the needle pierces the dura matter. And once one little drop comes out, 
Now, all of a sudden, that CSF leak changes the whole paradigm, the whole, the whole future potentially for that patient. Life is about risk and reward. You must communicate to your patients that, you know, for Dr. Buddha, who we love, we love. Welcome to the family, Dr. Buddha, by the way. And my thing is, if I'm in your area, what I'm telling people is really simple. I'm asking my patients, are you a gambling man? Are you a gambling man? What a simple question. That's a yes or no question. Now, the reason that I'm asking that is because if you leave this office and you consider getting an epidural injection or a microdiscectomy or a laminectomy or a spinal fusion or metal in your back, because those are your options, then the risk of potential problems, future damage, and a second and a third procedure is through the roof. And the reason we can say that to her is because she's in Las Vegas, Nevada, the gambling capital of the world. Well, everything is about language, communication, and being able to say something that it normally takes every other chiropractor 10 minutes to say, and you could say it in 10 seconds. This is what you learn at the chiro event. So go to www.thechiroevent.com. See if you can grab one of those seats. Oh, and by the way, by the way, just for fun, OMG, oh my gosh. Did you know that at this coming Cairo event, you will have not one, not two, but three, three doctors in a room that were wearing the same ring as Dr. Kaplan tonight. In other words, doctors with doctors with six spinal decompression tables and a 90% conversion rate, doctors with 11 spinal decompression tables with an unmatched conversion rate, a doctor with a 30,000 square foot clinic is gonna be there. And then pound for pound, oh my gosh, you gotta see the other superstars that are in the room. They're gonna be there with you and they're there for the same exact reason you're there, to learn, to grow, to be, to do, to have, and to come away better like Dr. Lesagio, not like Dr. Rosenberg. Oh, and by the way, Dr. Lesagio, let's get it going, baby, if you know what I mean. Let's get it going in 2022. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. With those kind of numbers, you better get ready because we're so juiced. We're so animated. We're so excited for what's in the pipeline. Everything is about what's in the pipeline. www.thechiroevent.com will be your only opportunity to get this updated information. That's it. That's it. So if you feel like this is your time and you're sick and tired, as we would say as chiropractors, of being sick and tired, you know what I'm talking about? Having a practice that's not meeting the potential where you're having challenges. And you know what I'm talking about? paying your rent, paying your staff, paying yourself, then flip the script and welcome to the brave new world of spinal disc specialty care that empowers you to be able to create the wow experience for your patient. We're going to show you example after example after example. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious about March, March 26th, there's no contracts, there's nothing to sign, there's no pressure, there's no obligation. We started this training tonight with these words, and that is this. If we under-promise and we over-deliver, which we will, then you, doctor, are going to try to figure out a way to get into our universe. You, and then you'll contact us at a later date and say, you know what? If they're doing this in one day, I wonder that what they're doing for, at a boot camp. I wonder what they're doing if you're part of the family. Well, if you're curious, you can ask those other doctors. But if I'm you, I'm jumping all over the last opportunity to grab a seat at www.thechiroevent.com. It is a party. It is a, it is a training unlike no other. And uh, this one will be unmatched. I cannot thank you enough for hanging with us tonight. Go to the website. You know the address, thechiroevent.com. I can't thank you enough for being part of our universe here tonight. And if you're fortunate enough, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I hope you can grab a seat.
It'll change your life. It'll change your practice. It'll change your patient's life. Oh, yeah, and by the way, because this was a business meeting, it'll change your bank account. All for the better. You deserve it. Step up to the plate. Make it yours. Have some fun with it. Thanks so much. I would hope to see you there on behalf of Dr. Eric Kaplan and our amazing family of the greatest pound-for-pound pound heavyweight champion, the Centers of America doctors in the universe. Thanks for hanging with us.